afternoon, everyone. With me today is our guest, Sir Jay, and I'd like you to meet him. And he will be speaking to you about his experience on the NCLEX and the struggles and the success, of course, definitely is going to share with you. Thank you, Ma'am Rachel, for inviting me for this kind of a small dialogue. To start, Charmer, nag IELTS. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Jay. I'm a registered nurse in Philippines, but presently working in the United Arab of Emirates. Now, I graduated in 2008 at the Philippines, particularly in General Santa City, in Notre Dame. Counting 2008 until 2020, it's been more than 10 years I've been working as a nurse. So, I started three years in the Philippines, and then nakipagstapalaran, going to Saudi Arabia, worked there for three years in Riyadh, in Health Oasis Hospital. And then after that, I've transferred here last 2015 in the United Arab Emirates as a nurse. So I was basically an ICU nurse of the Philippines. However, I was expecting a lot of ICU, the drips, the inotropes, but luckily I was transferred. It's very new in Philippines that I'm hearing this word like high dependency unit. Those are not available in the Philippines, I believe. And then working with ventilator, high-tech mechanical ventilator, patient on different tracheostomy tubes. So it's been a new challenge in me as a nurse. You had already like quite long time of experience so you started in the philippines and then you transferred to saudi and then to abu dhabi where you are now so what made you decide that you are going to push through with your american dream actually to be honest i am planning for new zealand however due to the fact that there are other, you know, feedbacks. So, and got busy at the work. So, hindi na ako na-push sure ng New Zealand ko. Although, it's one of my lists. Here, these people are taking entrance examination. Although, U.S. has a lot of retrogression during those times. So, there are two reasons why I took the exam. The first reason, one, a personal gain for myself. I want to test the examination. The exam itself, I know it's a tricky and it's a hard one. And I have took a lot of examination before also. And I'm not saying I passed it with the flying colors, but I passed on the exam. And then second is, I want to know what is US dream. People are being imaginative. They want to put these dreams into reality. So they're pursuing US. And you know, all of our books are based on US majority. So you know, the foundation of practice. I want to try. That's the reasons why I took the so, isn't it that you're currently working in Abu Dhabi? Like, how are you able to manage your time during your preparation for the NCLEX? Well, preparation for the NCLEX, including the work, I know it's a hectic time, but it's a matter of time management. Basically, I'm having a hard time. To be honest, I did not took the exam at first try because I was confident enough that I took a lot of exams, so basically I can pass it. But I'm not studying anymore about that. Lately, I realized when I re retake the exam, like, it's a bit challenging and I like the challenge. It's a new task for me. So what I did was during the mornings, I did routine rounds, routine nursing care. But at nighttime, I did some of my follow-up reviews. Aside from that, whenever I have my night duty, if I have a leave week period, like break time or long hours that I'm not working at anything, just only to hear the monitors beeping. So what I did is that I'm opening some books and then mobile application just to have a brain exercise. So those are the things that I practice most. And aside from that, from your materials I'm reviewing, I give all my cards. I lay all my cards. So I took also, um, what you call this, a review class, review center. So, well, it helped a lot, all of those things. So it's really a matter of dedication because even though you are working, you still were able to find time for your preparation. Yeah, I believe on that. And aside from that, Ma'am Raish, this is what I always practice on myself. And even, I don't know if they will agree for me, people will agree or not. Different nurses have different pace of time. Don't compare mm -hmm. yourself to others. Yeah. Don't rush for things that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Learn to analyze your capability first. Learn to do timetable. Schedule it. And aside from that, don't compare yourself to others. Because the time that you started, this what you call jealousy or anxiety, the more you are 
pressure in taking the exam. What I want to advise to others are, aside from doing the timetable skills, you, they need to practice and study at their own pace. Not on the sense that they are going to procrastinate because, oh, well, the exam is just few months. No, no, not like that. Learn to study from time to time if you have the time and then fix on that study table so that you can have this habit and you have this routine. And as well as, you can have a brain exercise so you're not going to be stagnant along your dream in taking the exam and mm -hmm. passing on it and going to America. So, so what were the struggles that you encountered during your preparation? Did you have any? Yeah, I have a lot. Like what are those? <laughs> it might look like not, but there are lots of things. First was the time because really, I don't have a lot of time to focus on studies and I am biased on what are the things that I'm going to study, where I'm good at and where I'm not good at. So from during the exam that I took before, I look on my weaknesses. So those are the things that I prioritize first to study. I learn to dissect one time at a time so mm -hmm. that I can have a good grasp of it. Mas naiintindihan ko siya. Mas nadadigest ko. Mm -hmm. Hindi yun siya yung pahapyaw and then babalik na naman ako. It's like doing it in turtles. So, Learn things one time at a time. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, having a good reliable sources like books, online, and review centers the most. And with your help and your guidance also. So I manage things. Those are the struggles which I turned it into a positive thing mm -hmm. so that I can pass this exam. So, talagang na-conquer mo ang NCLEX because of those things na ginawa mo na you take things one at a time. Like, minamaster mo yung concept before moving on to something. Would you mm -hmm. also advise that to the aspiring NCLEX passers? On an average base, ako I consider myself an average person. Mm -hmm. I would Yes, because the more you understand it, the more you can retain it in your mind mm -hmm. by doing mnemonics, mm -hmm. by doing simple things to dissect everything. But like others said, according to other research also, there are people who are doing it in a smart way. Mm -hmm. They're just doing it in a juggle motion and they can grasp the concept. The same with the average person. So I might say, which thing works on you, make it in a habit, do it in a practice until you can make it as a routine. Mm -hmm. But what I will say, do it one time at a time. Because the more I can appreciate the topics, the words, I can pattern everything on it. So I can analyze. I can understand it and comprehend. Thank you for that, Sir Jay. What about the length of preparation? Like, how many months did you prepare before you took the examination? Well, honestly speaking, when I started for the advanced examination, I took long periods of it. But although I have this gut feeling that I want to pass the exam in an instant, I want to prepare based on my previous experience. So I want a full hour more in preparation for that, this particular battle. So I might say that on my pace, and I think other people would agree with me also, I think that will constitute into three to six months mm -hmm. preparation. I think that would be enough because the three to six months, you're going to have this practice of routine. By third month, you're going to do practice Q&A. By fourth month or fifth month, you're going to be anxious. You're going to either be confident enough to take the exam already or you're going to be anxious because you're not fully prepared. <laughs> so, yeah, and you need more additional sources. And one of it is your Q&A from IPAS. And aside from that, the so-called due world, which is a very challenging question. So it's similar with the NCLEX. So those are the things that I need to catch up again. And if you put that on a certain close time frame, so you will have a hard time to catch up again and to prepare. So what I advise is that you need a particular time to prepare on it on an average base or average pace of a person so that they can analyze it more. And as well as that, they will be prepared fully, not being anxious to take the exam. Ayoko isipin yung mga tao na magsabi sila na, ang pamahala na, or yes. bahala na, I will mm -hmm. take the exam. Mm -hmm. No, because first things first, why did you take or took or plan this exam? Of course, to pass. So in order to pass, you need to establish a good foundation. So, nabanggit mo, Sir Jay, na wag silang maging anxious. So, let's mm -hmm. talk about ano ba yung mga tips mo? Like, what do they need to avoid aside from being anxious prior taking the examination? Anxiety level has different stages, right? So, 
what I can suggest from them to relieve this anxiety, to relieve these stressors in life, they need to find a study table. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how to weigh things, when to study, when to have a free time. Once you're committed on this one to take the examination, your review must be on, not absurd, but you need to have a leeway also because your brain cannot grasp everything or else you'll be stressed out. So what I suggest, during your weekdays, you need to study. If you're not working, I mean, or working at least, find time to study and on the weekend, find time to have a free time. I mean, you have oh, you have only one life. You're not going to dedicate only in exam itself because what's the use of doing it and you get sick after the exam? So we have a US dream to follow afterwards. So have a free time to study in a weekdays and have free time to go out on weekends with your friends. And share knowledge, challenge from other friends who are planning to take exam. Challenge them. Oh, do you know like this? Or can we share some material? I think that's a good way to have this advice piece to, you know, to have it go away. What are the tips that you can share doon sa mga nabanggit mo, Sir J, na mga, like, during the breaks, like, how are they going to manage their time? Ano suggestion mo na gagawin nila during the break times? So, ako naman, I'm not very religious, but basically, when we ask something, we go to church talaga, di ba? <laughs> I'm not saying, Lord, sorry. But above all else, there's always a reason for everything. So I always ask for guidance and reason that, like science, do I need to pursue this? Of course, I need to pursue this. This is my dream. To go mm-hmm. to so I go to church. I meet friends, like a coffee, like that. And then sometimes I went to places like, yung asha very serene, yung mm-hmm. walang tao, peaceful one, very calm, so that you can relax your mind magbumuni muni ka, magsiself-actualization ka na naman sa sarili mo, like, deserve mo ba to? Enough na ba ang napag-aralan ko? Those are the things because the more you have your self-actualization, the more you reflect onto yourself, the more you will do more on it, I believe. So, iwan muna tayo sa mga bars after mm-hmm. na lang when we pass the exam, go ka sa bar. Yeah, so, you are suggesting that during the weekdays, they have to study, but also they have also to make time for themselves para at least maka-relax ng konti yung brain nila. 